Hi, this is Joelle from Lady Liciousness. I often um, hear from women who are in the midst of huge transformation. A lot of my clients are in the midst of huge transformation. And so maybe um, this, this topic or this video will resonate with you. Um, if you find yourself in transformation, in a big loss or a big um, shift of some, perhaps a divorce or something that's happened in your life that has you lacking energy in order to do what you normally do in life. And, um, and then the effect being that you feel lonely because all of the energy you've been putting out there into the world, all of the friends that you have surrounded yourself with um, are not present for you during your process, whatever it is, and you feel that you've been there for their processes. So kind of coming uh, um, into a realization that perhaps the people you have nourished and surrounded yourself with might not be your tribe, your people who are there for you and see you and accept you for who you are um, in your journey of life. And uh, what I often say, um, there are a lot of uh, different things, you know, like in, in, in coaching on how to handle this. But what I want to say um, and what I do say to the women um, initially in this process is that before we become self-aware, we're, we can be sending off different kinds of signals and um, we like to adapt and adjust ourselves according to the outside world and it often comes from what we're taught by our culture, by our families um, and just, you know, maybe silencing our voice uh, internally because um, it might not be appropriate or it might be too loud or too this or too that and so we adjust and we kind of conform to what is socially acceptable in a, in a certain kind of box. And everybody subscribes to this in an unspoken kind of way. Um, so often people walk around with some kind of filter or mask on. Um, so they're sending a certain part of their, like say, frequency of themselves out into the world. And so people are subscribing to that frequency, to that, that channel that, that, that you're sending out. And um, whatever your patterns are and all of that, that's all part of who starts subscribing to your channel. And when you then take a step back from being able to engage in that way, in that frequency, because perhaps you don't have a lot of energy left anymore. Perhaps you're going through a huge shift in your life or a huge trauma in your life or a huge change in your life, which has you using your energy in other ways. And then you start noticing the people who are there and present for you and those who might not be there when you need them, even just holding your hand or giving you a hug or listening to you, having a kind ear. And um, what I'd like to suggest, if you find that you're going through this, because I've been through this as well, I woke up one day and I didn't, uh, I didn't have the people that I thought I had around me who could understand that I, I didn't have anything left anymore. I didn't have energy um, to give anymore, even just to say hi. I had nothing left. And um, the ones who were there, who kept coming, kept coming through silence, kept coming through um, tears and pain and, uh, and me trying to find my footing again and there were some people who dropped off because I had developed a certain kind of dynamic of pattern with them and I couldn't give in that way anymore. And so because of expectations or whatever, then lost those people um, in this process, um, even though I for some of them I had expected it and some of them I had asked for it and some of them I had uh, uh, I wasn't expecting um, it and 
what I'd like to suggest or what I'd like to say that I've learned in the meantime is that when you find your own boundaries and you become self-aware enough to know where you begin and end and you start standing true to your voice and you don't give more than you have but then also um, don't shut yourself down and hide and block yourself when you can stand strong in yourself, then you are giving off a certain frequency, you're giving off a certain channel. And when it is authentic, you will find that people will come and listen to that channel that you're, that frequency that you're giving off, tune in to that. Um, those who like it, those who see you, those who believe in that, that which you are sending out into the world and those who can't go with the ups and downs perhaps you don't need them there um, perhaps it wasn't uh, uh, enough of a bond perhaps you've changed they've changed perhaps you're creating a different uh, uh, frequency or social norm to to adhere to um, whatever that shift is, um, it is a scary place to be, to not know who's going to be on the other side. Um, I went through a process of validating, of checking, of asking, of reaching out to when I did have the energy to uh, start reaching out again. And I got my responses. I got the responses of those who didn't want to deal uh, with me anymore, those who wanted to rebuild a new kind of friendship, a new kind of pattern, a new kind of dialogue, a new kind of friendship that worked in a healthier way for both of us, um, and those that stuck through. And then those who came on the other side, the new ones who uh, had space now to be able to be let in. And so it can be um, a process that needs a lot of courage. If you've gone through a similar kind of process, I'd love to hear from you and uh, know what your ups and downs were. Um, if this triggers you in any kind of way, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this kind of topic, on how you manage the connections that you have around you, how you stand strong in your voice, how you create space for those who see you. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. Please share uh, the video, the message. You can find out more about what I do on LayDeliciousness.com right here. And um, speak to you soon. Sending you much love.